At times, the course of my life is broken, and my present actions and circumstances become impossible of continuance. It happened this morning, and I left for wild, far-off places. He was, as the world judged, an odd young man. He was a painter, a musician, a serious reader of books, a disciple of Thoreau, a solitary wanderer on the rivers and in the hills, an incessant questioner of his own hopes and aims, a disbeliever in virtually the entire value system of his time and place, a maverick, a lonely man full of love. He was, in his way, a kind of wonder. If one walks far enough, his fast-moving feet and mind become tired. And from that condition and distance, sweetness begins to return to his bitter life. We turn homeward, planning anew, yet carrying back some of that wilderness which is truth. When a child, I lived in a harmonious world. All was one. There was no division, no enemy to my happiness. Even then, the landscape had a divine luster. From it came into me an outpouring of joy. I discovered the river where I swam and fished and paddled a canoe, a delight beyond compare. Then came school, and it was like a prison, with duties and prohibitions, and the slavery of time. I was shy and sensitive, and not exceptional in any way, except that I was passive without a driving will. Some pursuits I knew were not for me, still I was mostly happy and carefree. I had glimmerings of art made blackboard drawings for the teacher, dreamed of being an artist. Ideas ripened, and I saw a cleavage between the world and nature. Everyone I knew accepted the world and bondage to it without question. Was I alone in wanting to live a free and joyous life on this fair earth? What was to become of me? Suddenly a revelation. I was born again. <laughs>